I was surprisingly saddened uh, to see Chad Johnson released by the Miami Dolphins today. I don't know why I care about this guy, why I sort of root for him, but I find myself rooting for him, and the Dolphins have released him following a, an arrest for a domestic abuse. Uh, I, I, I sort of take it the Dolphins maybe didn't have much of a choice, but uh, nonetheless, it, uh, it bummed me up. Could it bum you out because you wanted to see a redemption story because he was so good in Cincinnati yeah, yeah, and then the yeah, Patriots you know, didn't use him and now he's getting a second chance with Miami? And a third chance, yeah. I, first of all, I like that he changed his name back to Chad Johnson. Yeah. Um, and I, I guess, you know, I like him because he was uh, colorful in a non... In, in, he was colorful in an inviting way. You know, it was... I never... I don't like trash talking, but I like never minded... Uh, Deion Sanders because Deion Sanders always seemed full of bloviating but joyful bloviating like he was having a great time you always got the sense that Deion Sanders loved his life loved that he got to play football every Sunday as opposed to guys who just try to act tough and act like badasses and I thought there was joy in Chad Johnson and he was funny and uh, so I wanted him to succeed but apparently his, uh, it's a great story. He's, he's engaged to be married to a basketball wife. Evelyn Lozada. Which is a program on television. VH1. VH1. Well, sorry. Not totally on television. <laughs> <laughs> I kid. No. Um, so he's got, uh, so it's a reality show on TV. Uh, it's Shaquille O'Neal's uh, ex-wife is on the show, too. And uh, they're set in, it's set in Miami. Is that right? Yeah. I think so. Who cares? Who knows? Yeah, who cares? So anyway... And she, uh, in great reality show moment, was uh, going, getting, his, I guess, groceries out of the car. And she found a receipt in the car, in the trunk, that showed that Chad Johnson had purchased condoms. <laughs> she didn't find the condoms, she found the receipt. So she and Chad had a fight. That's an amusing story until apparently Chad Johnson, uh, according to police, according to her, headbutted her in the car while they were arguing. She ran out, she called 911, cops arrived. Uh, Chad Johnson claims that she had butted him. Uh, however, uh, he, she has the big gash on her head and he, he doesn't. I, I don't know how, I've never head butted anyone. Uh, yeah, me neither. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it seems like a, a terrible thing to do. Anyway, so the Dolphins, it took about 24 hours with this story and they went ahead and, uh, and released him. Uh, I read that one of his teammates, I can't remember which one now, Carlos Dansby. Uh, Carlos Dansby. You want me exactly to read the right. quote? Yeah, read Carlos Dansby. He's All a right. linebacker for the Dolphins. Here's what he said. I hate that we didn't stand behind him. I know the guys in the locker room would, but the organization felt a totally different way about the situation. And then he is also quoted as saying, it's going to be an even bigger distraction right now, I think, because of the simple fact we let him go. I think if we were going to be with the guy, if he was going to be our guy, we have to stand behind him. Even though the situation came about, he didn't get that third strike. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I, 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 in a sense, I would like them to stand by a guy only accused of a crime, and obviously no one is minimizing domestic battery, but, but we, he's, only, he's only been arrested. Um, but that said, it's very serious, and I'm sure the Dolphins, when they signed him because of his, his unique history of being an enormous distraction, said, hey, man, look, you got to be cool. And in fact, Joe Philbin, the head coach, the former offensive coordinator at Green Bay, had said, uh, just last week, hey, you, you aren't guaranteed of a roster spot unless you essentially calm down because he'd been using a lot of profanity with reporters and he was being literally a distraction, which is what he's done his whole life. It just, I, obviously I feel bad because somebody who I sort of like and was rooting for has apparently, uh, if this turns out to be true, has done something horrible and I guess the Dolphins really didn't have much of a choice there. And then Evelyn and Ocho their show, Evan Ocho was the name of their show, is now being pulled from VH1, and they said they have no current plans of airing it. So, Well, yeah, this was a really, really bad day for Chad Johnson. <laughs> yeah, And now, and mean, now there's speculation like, oh, is my team going to sign him? Is your team going to sign him? Like, who would actually sign him, though? After, after all of this, and he certainly he has a worn-down body, in my opinion, I mean, who would actually want to sign him now?